Today, SpaceX conducted a critical test of its Crew Dragon space capsule. The last time the company tried this test, it caused the capsule to explode. New 6's James Barvero explains why this test is so critical for bringing crewed launches back to the Space Coast. A brief cloud of dust, our indication tonight that SpaceX test fires its Crew Dragon Super Draco engines. If we could see the ground, the static test fire might have looked similar to these previous SpaceX tests. This testing is about the Super Draco thrusters, which are the abort thrusters that will save the astronauts in case there's a rocket emergency. Dr. Ken Kramer, a space photographer and research scientist, talking about how SpaceX needs to be successful with this static fire test before it could conduct an in-flight abort test. A big step before flying astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley. If the rocket begins blowing up beneath them, the Draco thrusters will pull them away and save their lives. Otherwise, they would be killed. During testing back in April, when Crew Dragon blew up, SpaceX did not confirm the accident until 12 days later. The communication on this particular incident was poor. The delay causing NASA's administrator to call for more transparency for the taxpayer. Lift off. Last week, NASA asked Boeing, NASA's other commercial partner, to live stream its pad abort test of the Starliner. Now we wait on SpaceX to confirm today's testing and tell us how it went. What's actually going on is there's probably a whole day series of tests like they were doing last time when they had the explosion. And when we get any official word from SpaceX, we will share that with you. At Cape Canaveral, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.